If you want to see King Sod as just 100 minutes of you know, satisfying and fun release, just getting your yayas out, it works on that level. You don't have to think about it if you don't want to think about it. But you should. Come on, there's something more to it than just that, guys. There's an unrest in the country right now. It's actually something that's going on around the world. Everyone has a sense that we're in interesting times. That we're on the brink of global seismic changes. It's a period like the 60s, where we either break through into something better or... You look at the Sanders campaign, and then actually the Trump campaign, and their politics might be different, but the emotion and anger and cause of both are very much the same. The feeling that the system has grown corrupt and that the deck is stacked against the average person. In favor of the power elites. Um, Saudi Arabia, where 9-11 came from, is, is a much worse example of that than us, but it's, it's happening in this country too. That emotion is justified. I mean, even if people can't give the scientific or precise economic answer to its solution. We're bottled up economically. We're using an economic model that's over 100 years old. Any sort of technology that's 100 years old, you would expect it to be out of date. But it's not just backwards. There's a large element of corruption as well. When economics become just about worshiping money as a thing in itself, the golden calf, rather than building a better world for people, it breeds corruption. For instance, we, we ignore that the Saudis are creating and fanning terrorism because, you know, they're, they're a huge oil ally. If the situation explodes, it can suck the whole world into a war. You know, the people pressure is building up all over the Middle East and the world to change, whether, whether the governments are ready or not. So King Saad is about that. We capture that emotion and tap into it very strongly on a very visceral, primal level that people can get satisfaction out of. It's dark, but there's you know, insight and inspiration and you know, beauty and meaning, too. If you want to see the sort of movie we're making, a progressive, exciting, cutting-edge movie for adults... With its finger on the pulse of the times, yeah, you know, rather than a $300 million infantilized comic book for teenagers, we need money to release and market it. I mean, pay back the expense of it. Convince the studios it can sell. And you get the right to stream the movie at that discounted price when it comes out. So if you want to give more or invest, great. That's much appreciated. We'll find a good use for it. It's not something you have to do or want to put your life savings in because movies are risky. but. If it hits, you get a chance to make a lot of money. We can guarantee you 100 minutes of really good time, a strong, R-rated, adult time. But also, people vote, not just with their vote, but with their dollars. Every time you buy something, you're voting in a very powerful way on what's going to be made in the future. So, thanks very much. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. Thank you very, very much for your time. and. Uh... Power to the people. <laughs>